Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I do hope you consider subscribing and please leave a comment or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below as well. I've already uh, put the Model 1's base coat and this beautiful black, my favorite black, uh, it's also Model 1's. I did two coats of that. I just wanted to save time on the video uh, because as you can see it's already pretty long so I didn't want to risk making you guys bored but right now I'm going to um, put the Model 1's matte top coat on all of these nails. I just wanted this to have a real pretty um, background that wasn't real shiny. I think that the matte fit the whole design a lot better. This video is more about the sculpture gel and making these beautiful flower, the beautiful flower and the leaves. But I did want to show you the um, glitter gel that I'm using, also by Model Ones, and it's like this coppery rose gold glitter, but it ends up looking more gold on top of the black. So I thought it was a, a pretty one to use that would go really well with the colors I used for the rose and the leaves. I'm really excited about this particular sculpting gel. I have another set that I actually love, but this one, I, there's something about it that I love. It's by Chi, C-H-E, and it's LED, UV, and it's a soak off. It does not have a curing time, but um, I do flash cure in between the leaves uh, just to make sure I don't mess them up um, for about 10 seconds. Uh, to 20 seconds, but I do a full cure for 60 just to be sure If you have never used a sculpting gel, I suggest you try it especially if somebody in your household gets headaches with acrylics um, Poly gels are a little too soft to use for this. I mean you you can I guess but they're a little too soft for me the sculpting gel you can use a silicone brush, uh, you can use the slip solution or alcohol like I'm using, it's a 91%. I barely have to dip my silicone 
tool in there. You can use a regular um, sculpting brush if you want to, like a 3D art brush. Um, it's just so versatile and so easy to use. Very, very like s soft um, movements with your brush and you can shape it as long as you want to. You have so much time, but as you can see, it is just so easy and I just love this stuff so much. Um, I wish it came in bigger amounts, but you actually don't need to use much, so it's it's still good. I just want to be greedy and have bigger amounts of it so I don't have to buy more. <laughs> I'm done with the four main petals and now just to build this up, uh, make it look a little, um, what do you call it, more like a flower, um, I'm going to put three more petals on top and I'm not going to stretch them out all the way to the edge like I did with the other ones because I still want those to show. So I'm just going to place the beads down and pull them out just a little ways and oh, well yeah that happens um, <laughs> you see I'm making this look a lot more difficult than what it's supposed to be uh, just me suffering through life uh, so I just follow the same steps and I create this beautiful flower
there's the rows all done. Uh, I'm going to make the leaves now. I'm just going to make a couple on this nail and I do make a couple on um, the other nail as you can tell by the picture. Uh, I'm going to get all of the sculpting done before I put the chrome powder on but while you're making these even with the leaves um, make sure you leave kind of deep indents where you're putting the shape like on the leaves I'm going to make the little veins but I want them to kind of be on the deeper side so you don't lose any of that detail um, after you've got the chrome powder on and you're you know we'll be putting a base coat on and then um, we'll be putting a top coat on top to protect the chrome so just make sure you have some depth in your your sculpting so that you don't lose that. I was going to use my liner brush to apply the base coat, but instead I decided first to use the regular brush. It's just a bigger area, it, wouldn't, it saves time, but you have to make sure you do not have a lot of product on that brush so you don't flood the design like I was talking about before. You need to keep that depth as much as possible, So, and it doesn't take much. Um, and then I'll use the liner brush just to get around the outer edges of the rose. If you want the outer edges to, you know, just be the color of the sculpture gel, then don't worry about that. But I want it all to be covered with the rose gold chrome. So helpful hint there. Just make sure you don't flood it. This rose gold chrome powder is a tad darker than what I really wanted it to be and you can mix your chrome powders uh, a lot of you don't know that I saw somebody else doing it which surprised me I, and it turned out really pretty and I could have added a lighter gold to this um, but I I kind of liked it being a little bit darker um, and I since I made the flower um, and the leaves white I figured it would be a little bit brighter once I got it on there and I was right so it worked out so what you do is you just I'm just pushing this in now you can use um, a regular top coat actually to use with this chrome powder to make it all shiny but I kind of wanted it to look grainy so I'm just dabbing it into the base coat In order to protect the chrome powder, you need to put something on top of it. You can go with a mat or, you know, whatever. I mean, a clear would be the best, of course, but I decided to go with a um, the shiny top coat. But make sure that you brush off any excess chrome powder. Um, it'll make, just make a big mess and you'll lose your design. Um, and also remember don't flood the design with this either um, it'll still show but you kind of you just really want that definition in there and make sure you wipe off your brush before you put it back in the bottle because it will get some of this chrome powder on it
once the top coat is on and cured you can wipe all of the excess away the chrome powder won't stick to the mat um, and even if it was shiny underneath there as long as it's not coated with a top coat it will come off you just sometimes have to rub it a little bit harder but it will come off and now it's time for me to do the leaves and I'm just gonna show you real briefly the color of um, that I of chrome powder that I used for the leaves I'm just gonna follow the same steps so uh, I'm not gonna take you through that part again but look at this it's so beautiful I'm so happy with this color and this is what I've done so far look how gorgeous that green is and the rose gold it did end up being a lot brighter than it looks in the container which I'm very very pleased about so now it is time to, for me to put some gems on here This is them all done. I would say they turned out pretty cool. I really love them. Um, perhaps the leaves on the middle finger um, might have been a bit smaller, but some people like the bigger designs, so I guess it turned out turned out, you know, pretty good. <laughs> um, let me know what you think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you do subscribe and please don't forget to uh, like and share and hit the bell if you want to see more. <music>